I'm Mike Ashby from Cambridge University and Granter Design. One of the striking phenomena of our time has been the way in which material innovation has changed everyday products. At the start of the last century, an engineer had perhaps a hundred materials to choose from. Today, there are tens of thousands. What does an engineer need to seize the opportunities that these present? They need the right materials information and tools to manage, mine and manipulate it. This perspective has driven our work at Cambridge University and Granter for over 20 years. We began by developing material information resources and novel selection software for higher education and we remain involved with education initiatives to train the next generation of engineers. But as far back as the 1990s, our work with leading engineering enterprises highlighted some more basic material information challenges. These organizations generated and consumed material data, often in huge quantities. It came from testing, from quality assurance, research, suppliers, and reference sources, but systems to manage the data were lacking. This led in 2002 to the founding with NASA and ASM International of the Material Data Management Consortium. The MDMC has since grown to include the list of organizations you see here. It defines and implements best practice for enterprise materials data management. Members' motivation often begin with risk and productivity. They want the right data and traceable design decisions. They want to protect expensive test data and they want faster design. The resulting materials information technology embodied in the Granter MI software is now well established in aerospace, defense and energy and its use is growing quickly in sectors such as automotive, wind power and capital equipment. These companies are moving past the initial focus on controlling data towards using this data to answer questions like can I substitute this material or how do I avoid restricted substance risk. Such questions relate to design and to product lifecycle management. So the latest software integrates materials information technology with CAD and CAE and PLM systems. Talk of integration brings us back to where we started, material innovation. Challenges like that of the Materials Genome Initiative require that we make the best possible use of the outputs of today's research and they demand collaboration across and between material-oriented agencies, institutes and enterprises. To achieve this, we must integrate data and software tools from various computational, experimental and theoretical approaches spanning a wide range of length and time scales. This poses very similar material information problems to those that the MDMC has already addressed at the corporate level. Thank you. We look forward to participating in the next chapter of the Materials Information Technology Story.